Hi, welcome to Moo Moo Math. Today we're going to look at direct and inverse variation, but we're going to look at them in t tables. So let's look at our two examples. We've got one of each. On this side we have the t table where x, if x is 1, y is 3, if x is 2, y is 6, if x is 3, y is 9. Okay, so we can see a pattern here as x increases so does y. Hmm, direct or inverse? We'll talk about that in a second. Okay, let's look at this one. We've got 1, 2, and 4. When x is 1, y is 8. When x is 2, y is 4. And when x is 4, y is 2. So as x increases, y is actually decreasing. Hmm, what pattern do we see? Well, let's look at the rules and then we can decide if it's an inverse or a direct variation. If x increases and y increases, if they're both increasing at a constant rate, then it is a direct variation. If x increases but y decreases, then that is an inverse variation. And when I say inverse, um, if, the, if you've got the value of 2, then the inverse of it is it's reciprocal. Okay, so let's look at our two examples here. What do you think? As x increases, y increases. So this first one is direct. Okay, this one is a direct variation because they're both increasing. And in this one, as x increases, y decreases. So this one is an inverse relationship. Now let's see if we can figure out what k is. Okay, to figure out k, we can use the method of plugging into the equation, but you can also just look at a pattern. What is happening here? How do I go from 1 to 3, 2 to 6, 3 to 9? Hopefully you're seeing a pattern of you're multiplying by 3. Okay, you're multiplying each of these by 3, therefore if you have the value 5, the y value would be 15. And the equation would be y equals 3x because k is 3. k is your multiplier. Okay, let's go over here and look at the inverse variation. Um, 1 and 8, 2, 4, 4 and 2, and the, the key here on inverse. Notice if I multiply these x and y's together, what is my value every single time? What do you notice? I always have an 8. So guess what k is? k is 8. Okay, so let's go fill in our missing value. If, k, if x is 8, what would I multiply together to get 8? Well, it would be 1. Notice 1 and 8 and 8 and 1. They're inverses of each other. So, there we go. You have got a quick little look at direct and inverse variation in t-tables.